Uh, President Trump issuing a remarkably stern warning to Turkey. If you mess with our Kurdish allies, there will be hell to pay. In a tweet yesterday, the president said, quote, starting the long overdue pullout from Syria while hitting the little remaining ISIS territorial caliphate hard and from any directions will attack again from existing nearby base if it reforms. Uh, will devastate Turkey economically if they hit Kurds. The president also warned the Kurds against provoking Turkey, a NATO ally who has supported America's fight against ISIS. But the Turks also consider the Kurds to be their sworn enemy. So will the president's threat of economic sanctions get everybody to play nice? With me now, University of Maryland professor and former chief economist at the U.S. International Trade Commission, Peter Maurici is here. Welcome, sir. Nice to be with you. Uh, so let's talk about this a little bit because Turkey is talking tough right back. And they're saying, don't you dare mess with us economically. Who has the upper hand here in, in terms of goods and services? Well, we sure do have a strong hand. I mean, we're able to pressure them with some trade sanctions to release Andrew Brunson. But this is a whole order of magnitude bigger, maybe twice, as, twice more than that, because they really dislike the Kurds. My feeling is that Turkey is a very export-dependent economy. It's virtually not growing anymore. You know, it's dictatorship, and that's what we've got there. Yes. Uh, it's basically strangled the economy. I think that we could get a lot of sympathy from our allies in Europe, and if we did, we could basically strangle Turkey economically. For one thing, it's export-dependent. Most of its trade is in dollars. So if it can't access the U U.S. banking system, hey, call up Iran. You can't get paid. Yeah, and Turkey, they're not our allies. I understand that they're part of an alliance nominally, uh, but they're not friends. And also, they tend to lump all Kurdish factions into yeah. one terroristic organization. And, and they have said in no uncertain terms that they would like to eradicate the Kurds, who have been some of our most loyal allies, uh, particularly in Syria. Well, Erdogan is basically a, too, a, a, failing, a failing dictator. So what he needs is an enemy, and the Kurds are there standing up. But, you know, he hasn't got the kind of leverage, say, that the Saudi prince has. You know, the Saudi prince, if, if, if we don't sell him arms, he can get them from China, and someone will always buy his oil, and he'll manage to get paid. But Turkey, I mean, they export things like machinery, metals, uh, vehicles, things like that. The Chinese aren't going to buy that stuff. The Russians can't buy it. Mm -hmm. Russia's too small economically. They really have no place to sell their stuff. They can't afford to take, a, say, a 10 to 15 percent hit on their economy, on their GDP. But so we what, really, what, we happens, really got what happens if they do? We're running out of time. But would sanctions work with Turkey better than they would with uh, Iran or, say, Venezuela? Uh, much better, I believe. Be because there's still some semblance of a democracy there and civil institutions, my feeling there would be an uprising. Mm -hmm. uh, more than that, uh, Iran has got simply a stronger economic base. Uh, Turkey has no one to turn to. We think of Turkey as being pivotal. It's not. It's not. It's, we have to stop not. thinking of them in, in those terms. So my feeling is, is that, that we can do it, but we, you know, we need the support of our allies. And what mm -hmm. concerns me most about this, these bellicose statements of the president is, did, does he gotten his ducks in the row first? Because he really is going to need Germany, for example, on board with the sanctions to make them work. Yeah, he, he strangles the ducks and then he gives them a little pimp love. It's tough. Uh, thank you so much, Peter Marisi.